Skinner, a PhD student in the University of Alberta in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, and I study advanced composite materials used in energy storage. I know you guys had some questions for us at the university, so I just wanted to take a few minutes to answer some of them and see what we can learn. So let's go on to the first one. What is energy made of? Energy, what is energy made of? It's not really made of something, it's the property, or it's a property of an object that contains energy. So if we think about a pan on a stove, we could describe the pan as uh, reflective or shiny, as heavy, or say half a kilogram, as metal, and uh, we could describe it as hot, or say 300 degrees Celsius. And that measurement of temperature is a measurement of thermal energy. But that energy doesn't really change the pan. It's not like we're adding something to the pan. We're just changing a property. We're adding heat. So we shouldn't think of energy as made of something, but rather a property of an object. So a car on the freeway has kinetic energy because it is moving. Uh, chemicals like in batteries or in food or in natural gas or oil, they can contain energy, chemical energy. Um, an object that's uh, very high up, like on top of a building, has potential energy. So there's different kinds of energy that an object can have, but it doesn't, that energy isn't made of something, it's a property of the object. So what is energy made of? It's not really made of anything. It is a, a property of objects. Thank you so much for watching Future Energy Systems Ask an Expert series. If you have your own question, submit it on our website. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our exciting content. Check out the links below to our website and learning page where you can find activities, learning extension, and more. You can also sign up on the website for notifications for future videos and interactive opportunities. There's so much to learn as we explore our energy future.